Hi everybody, it's Josh from Windy Nation and I'm going to show you a real short video about our new three-phase slip ring and show you how it works. So what a three-phase slip ring does is it keeps the wires traveling down your tower from getting twisted. If you can imagine, a wind turbine is mounted on top of a tower and it's rotating in multiple 360s to uh, track the wind, then the wires traveling down your tower will also get rotated and they can get bundled up and potentially damaged or broken. What the slip ring does is it prevents the wires traveling down your tower from getting twisted. Now this particular three-phase slip ring we designed is for three-phase generators and what it does is the wires coming out the top of the slip ring connect to the generator. The wires coming out the bottom of the slip ring connect to the wires traveling down your tower. Now the wires coming out the top of the slip ring which are connected to the generator are allowed to twist. You can see here I'm twisting them in multiple 360s and the bottom wires don't move. What that does is the generator, wind turbine, can track the wind, multiple 360s. Bottom wires don't move, so the wires traveling through your tower don't get twisted. And that's a very brief description of how it works, and that sums everything up. Now, mounting this uh, slip ring is a cinch. The way you do it is, one, you can either adapt this slip ring to use on your own wind turbine tower design, or two, you can use our self-lubricating bushing, which is designed to be inserted directly into a 1.5 inch Schedule 80 tower pipe. And that's the same pipe we use on our Wintura full wind turbine kit. The way it works is the wires coming out the top of the slip ring, we just push them straight through the bushing, and the bushing's designed to uh, thread right onto the top of the slip ring. So we just thread it on. Then the next thing we do is we can insert the slip ring into the 1.5 inch Schedule 80 pipe. This would be your tower. There's a little lip on the bushing that rests right on the top of the tower pipe. And the next thing you do is you just take these wires and you push them inside the bushing. And the reason is going to be evident in one second, because the next thing you do is you got to actually press, press fit this bushing into the tower pipe. And we need to use a hammer and just any piece of wood. And the reason we put the wires in there is so we don't damage them when we hit. And you can imagine this is your tower, and this is the bushing, and we just pound it in. So you don't want to take big hits because you might accidentally start to put this in at an angle. So just real slow. the top lip here sits on the top of the tower and that's it. You've got a slip ring and a directional bushing for your wind turbine. So we went ahead and pounded the bushing all the way into this 1.5 inch Schedule 80 pipe. You can see here that the top of the bushing rests perfectly on the Schedule 80. It's flush and this is what it should look like after you've completely inserted the three-phase slip ring into the tower. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before that you need to remember to do is the wires coming out of the three-phase slip ring at the bottom, you need to first connect them obviously to the wires traveling up your tower before you pound this bushing in or you're going to be uh, pulling it back out and having to reinsert the bushing. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, so one thing to keep in mind when you design a three-phase slip ring for a wind turbine is tower wire weight. And if you've got a 50-foot tower and you're running 8-gauge wire, that could potentially be a lot of weight hanging on the bottom of the slip ring from all three of those wires. So we took that into consideration when we designed this slip ring. And it can handle a lot of weight and we're going to show you. We have it connected to our 500-watt Wintura generator and this thing weighs 22 pounds. I'm going to go ahead, lift it up, swing it around, and show you that this slip ring can handle easily in excess of 20 pounds and much more than that. And that's just a demonstration of the strength of our slip ring. 